Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do a little maintenance video on this 200 Puko by Benchmade. Um, had it out, did a bunch of field testing with it. Uh, we've got a little bit of marks left. Uh, we just want to make sure to get that coating back on there. So let's take a look and get some reflection. We can kind of see what's going on. So you can see on the blade here, we've got some markings here. We've got a few down here. Um, it's going to be from, you know, some of the Flint fire starter we were using. Also... On this side, let's see where's the edge back here. There we go, and get that. You can see this strike edge, you know, it's kind of actually tarnished a little bit from last uh, last use that we were doing with it. Anyways, I uh, just wanted to use something that we had here, which is a uh, Flitz metal polish, but it also is good for all sorts of stuff, plastic. Uh, let's see what else is on there, but it also leaves a nice kind of anti-corrosion protection when you're done. So anyways, uh, if you want, check them out. I've been using it here this last month on several of my knives and a few other things, jewelry, some other stuff. Now with this, you just get a paper towel, get a little bit of this on your hand, well, on your finger, just a little tiny bit, maybe this much, and we're just going to polish it in on here and one of the best things about it is you know you just work it in you know we're gonna work in this top edge and yeah, hopes is that we'll get uh, you know 50% or more of the marks off there but we did some pretty rigorous testing with it so you know I wouldn't be surprised if some of that stuff just stays but that's okay it's a knife that's to be used and abused and, you know, it's still sharp as all get out. So that's what we like about it. It's not going to harm any of the laser markings on it or anything like that. But in this end, we definitely got some, some good markings from, I don't know if it's from the wood splitting. Must be. Anyways, probably got too much on there. Let me get some of that off to you. Then you just take your paper towel and you're just going to start buffing it off here with your paper towel. So see if we can do this without knocking anything over, but more importantly, do it without cutting yourself on camera. And you can see how much stuff that's already taken off tarnish wise and just some of that abuse from uh, our use in filming the other day. And you can see already, it's just brought back just that shine to it. So let's see how we do on the end here. That spine, we may we may be stuck with some of those markings, but that's okay because if you're gonna need it for any sort of use, and there's no, you barely feel feel anything. But the nice part about this is you can see how on on the blade edge, it's just taking all this stuff off. And I'm going to polish it up some more, but one of the nice parts is it uh, it leaves that pr corrosion protection, I guess they call it, uh, film-wise. But you can take your finger and slide it on here, and you can feel it. It's so smooth that that you know corrosion protection they leave on there. So it's going to be good, especially for this 3B steel, because it's going to need a little extra work from you just in maintenance. So it's the best way to do it. Anyways, get all that stuff coming off. Now, of course, you can go back through and, you know, get this on a buffing wheel or maybe even take a little bit off with some sandpaper or something like that. But, you know, to me, it's an outdoor use, something that you're not going to, you know, pull out and show and say, oh, look how pretty this is. You're going to just say, look at how this is for use. So let's take a look. I think it's done pretty good. It left the one scratch right here. That you can see but that's totally fine and you can kind of see how much that shines now just from a little bit that I've done and you can go back through and do it again but it's so smooth now it's ready to go back in the holster you know ready for the next adventure ready to go and these markings right here um, that's all just gonna be something that you can buff out later with a wheel but anyways let me know what you guys think uh, let me know what you guys use <clears throat> excuse me what you guys use I know some people use different uh, polishes or different things to care for their blades. This is one that I found. 
they did a great demo and uh, gave a little bit of a discount at Blade Show West, so that was pretty good. And I'll get uh, the rest of this buffed out when I get it off camera, but don't want to take my finger off or anything fun like that because maybe that vir uh, video would go super viral, but I'm not looking for that opportunity right now. Anyways, hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys have a great week and take care.